Darwin Hobbs was one of the brave men who spoke out about his childhood abuse. You know, I just kind of stumbled across him uh, engaging in pornography. He would masturbate while watching these films, and it started by him asking me if I wanted to do that for him, stimulate him uh, manually with my hands. To me, sexual abuse, it kills a child. I think it kills the spirit of a child. I think it kills normalcy in a child. So I just have spent a great deal of my life, uh, you know, walking around really as a, as a dead person in a sense, because I almost feel like I was murdered. It's been five years since we heard from Darwin. We checked in on him to see how he's doing today. Being on The Oprah Show, that day in that studio with those 200 other guys, uh, it just seemed like we were making this huge plug-in to this huge power source, which was The Oprah Show, so that gave us all a louder voice. We're so silent, especially in my community. I think in the African-American community, it's rarely is this spoken about kind of taboo subject matter, but this needs to be spoken about. And for too long, there's been a muzzle so to speak. When I think in terms of the process that I've gone through, the journey of wholeness and healing, um, I'm not sure that I will ever be what I consider completely 100% quote unquote normal, okay? I don't think anybody that has experienced what I experienced as a child, it's like you're stripped of your sense of normalcy, okay? But when, when you're violated in this way, then there's like an unlawful virus that's put into that hard drive, you know? I'll be 47 years old soon. This happened to me when I was 10, 11, 12. That this is an ongoing process of healing. People always ask me, like, what's your mom? Because my stepfather is who uh, was the perpetrator of my abuse. And so people say, what does your mom say? You know, and initially, of course, she was crushed, she was hurt, and she actually appeared that day on the show. I felt that I was so hopeless because I didn't know anything about it. You think about that you have to watch your girls, but uh, it was my son. For my mother to even come on the Oprah show that day was just, uh, it was a milestone. Looking at this picture today, I mean, I guess, you know, there's a sense of accomplishment almost because, you know, it takes a lot of work and intentionality every day uh, to, uh, to make sure that there's a sense of balance and, and health and wellness. I got a, a powerful uh, partner, it's my wife Tracy. She's been my best friend since fifth grade and we've been married almost 22 years. I don't know if I could do it without uh, the, okay. I don't know if I could do it without uh, the partner of Tracy. Um, so we we are uh, we are surviving. Uh, sorry to get emotional, but we're winning. We're winning. Hi, YouTubers. I'm excited to give you an update about our own YouTube channel. Now you can find new videos every day. They're the kind of videos that will make you look at life differently. They may even make you laugh a little bit. Who doesn't need a daily dose of that? So here's just a taste of some of what you'll see.